Hey, Michael Church with Crawl Space Ninja, and we have Andrew Davis with us from Wilmington, North Carolina. And uh, Andrew just completed their very first Crawl Space encapsulation. So we're going to talk about this and some of the things that him and his team found, and uh, we'll get right into it. So stay tuned. So if you're new to Crawl Space Ninja, we talk about everything related to crawl space encapsulation, basement waterproofing, and indoor air quality. We hope you'll subscribe to our channel, ring that notifications bell, and follow us on Facebook. So Andrew, I appreciate you uh, joining us for this call. So I thought I'd let you take it away and tell us a little bit about what you found on your very first crawl space encapsulation job. Yeah, thanks, Michael. Well, what we found in this first job originally was a, a common issue, especially in the coastal region with uh, water intrusion due to hydrostatic pressure on the exterior of the, of the crawl space around uh, the landscaping surrounding the house. As a result of the, of the hydrostatic pressure coming through the blocks and into the wood in the crawl space over the course of the past 24 years, of course, that crawl space encountered a ton of moisture and humidity as a result. That was an older house that basically the block was allowing the water to infiltrate the crawl space, created a humidity problem. Is that basically what you're saying? That's right. Okay. So Michael, when we first brought the evidence uh, with our detailed proposal to the homeowner, we sought evidence of some mold and, and some wood rot or potential future wood rot wasn't necessarily concerning to us. We did recommend the homeowner to do something about uh, the issue immediately. The homeowner was not as concerned. And so we proceeded to encapsulate the crawl space without doing any kind of mold remediation or prevention. So you went in and you proposed whatever package you proposed, probably a silver or a gold, I would suspect. And right. the homeowner's like, ah, there's not that much mold. I'm not that concerned about it. And then they went ahead and hired you to do that part, whatever package they chose. That's correct. Okay. And then once you got to the job, then what happened? So once I arrived uh, on the job to begin the encapsulation and tore out all of the old R19 insulation uh, from the ceiling of the, of the crawl space, immediately encountered a heavy, heavy amount of dry rot and mold going on. Specifically, the mold was growing on the floor joists as they as they are affixed to the subfloor and then a ton of uh, a ton of wood rot along the subfloor and at the and at the bottom of the joists, right where the R19 started. You got in there, the tips of the wood is sticking out from underneath the fiberglass. That part didn't seem that bad. You you got your ninjas got in there, you yanked all of that out and then boom. You saw a bunch of fungal growth on the subfloor and the joist above where the insulation was sitting. And why do you think, or what what caused that that fungal growth up above that R19 that you're talking about? See, and we're seeing this a ton in, in houses around here. Fiberglass insulation is holding the moisture in that it's collecting from the wood uh, as the hydrostatic pressure push, pushes humidity and moisture into the crawl space. And, and it's acting like a huge sponge along the along the subfloor. Uh, That's right. Once we were able to remove it, obviously we saw the problem. As a result, uh, the the recommendation to the homeowner is that we immediately do something about the mold. Uh, obvious that it was that it was heavy and it would be a concern for the air quality of the house. Homeowner approved us doing mold remediation and prevention. And I'm sure everyone will see in in a video after this the high quality of the mold remediation and prevention we pursued. Well, and this brings up a really good point. You know, we we go in as inspectors and sometimes we can't see everything that we're supposed to see until we get into the job. You know, homeowners don't like us going in and ripping out fiberglass during inspections. So sometimes we don't notice those things. Just like we've done a lot of work in the past and we may not have proposed a, a water management system in the crawl space. And then we get on the job site and the crawl space is flooded. So that's the beauty of, of us, Crawl Space Ninja, is that we have the flexibility to be able to turn and, and redo things as, as they come up. So is that basically what you all had to do? You get to the job site, you find all this problem, and instead of just moving forward, you went and, and showed pictures to the homeowner and then let them make the decision on what they should do next. Is that correct? 
That's right, Michael. I, my recommendation to them was was do something immediately. Uh, it doesn't have to be necessarily with us, although obviously I would prefer that. But right. uh, <laughs> the mold needs to go away immediately. So how did you uh, how did you relay that information to uh, to the homeowner? Did you take some photos or video and then you took it up there? Were they even home? How did you get that information to them so they could make that decision? I took video and and pictures while I was underneath the crawl space. Then I did some research as everyone here at Crawl Space Ninja Wilmington is, is OSHA certified in mold remediation and, and prevention. Did some research on the type of mold and, and dry rot we were dealing with right. uh, and brought those findings coupled with the photographs and vid videos to the, to the homeowner, made the case very clear, and he decided to act. So you decided to soda blast and then apply the cleaner and protect it. Is that also correct? That's right, Michael. We soda blasted, followed by the Anabec cleaner, and then and then the moisture barrier, uh, which allowed us, coupled with the, the the other parts of his package, to give him that ten year mold guarantee. There you go. There you go. That's great. So, uh, and, and that's a good point. Ten year mold guarantee that can be extended to a lifetime as long as they are on our maintenance program. And a, and a lot of companies out there don't even offer. Uh, any kind of mold guarantee at all. As a matter of fact, it's probably better to call it a warranty. We're, we're saying that mold will not return. And if it does return, we will go back in there as long as everything, uh, you know, if you control humidity and do all these things, you apply the moisture barrier, mold should not grow in that crawl space. That's why we offer this warranty of 10 years that's extended and transferable uh, to the new homeowner. Let's get back to the, to the cause of the problem. So the humidity spikes inside the crawl space and then this how many square feet was the house or the crawl space 1114 okay so you got 1114 square feet of crawl space with a six inch r19 fiberglass bat insulation so if you can imagine this you've got a comforter an 1100 square foot six inch thick comforter that has been absorbing humidity for years that's where the mold has has come from. Absolutely, it's a great description, Michael. If you've ever had a big comforter, you know your favorite comforter. You take you, you, normally your washing or your dryer is not even big enough. You got to take it to a commercial, to a commercial place to dry it out. So imagine how long it would take for that insulation to dry out. So what did you all have to do to speed up the process? What was the Crawl Space Ninja way? And instead of trying to dry out the insulation, what did you do? Uh, to get to that mold. We took the insulation out, installed a dehumidifier and created a negative airflow through the active ventilation system. There you go. So a lot of our competitors, they'll just tell you that that is fine to leave it up in there. Let's dry it out. We've even seen some companies that'll drop it to the floor, do whatever it is they're going to do, and then actually put it back. We've seen companies do that too. So instead of doing that, you completely removed it, bagged it, disposed of it, according to mold protocol. And then how did you handle the insulation of the crawl space once that was done? Once that was complete, Michael, we installed our foam board insulation along the walls, leaving a termite gap required by North Carolina code, and then installed vapor barrier over the, over the foam board to ensure one, we could create a lower humidity environment. And then two, to ensure that the home was still insulated and energy efficient from the crawl space on up into the main house. And you also, did you air seal the subfloor? We sure did. That's very good. That's another important thing that we do that a lot of companies out there will not do is to uh, minimize those gaps in the subfloor to keep the uh, stack effect or to minimize the stack effect between the crawl space and the living space. So uh, after all this was done, obviously the homeowner got hit with, uh, with a little bit more information. I assume the price went up because you were going to have to do more work to take care of that mold. So in the end, what does the homeowner think about what happened in the process and all that sort of stuff? The homeowner couldn't be happier. He's very interested in his home. So he accompanied me on the final inspection, which I personally did uh, underneath his crawl space, followed the checklist with me. His words, and I quote, as we left the crawl space, well, I'm sure that anybody else that I would have hired uh, would not have done half the work you did underneath here. Uh, and, and I'm pretty sure that I could come down here and make this a man cave and set up a TV and chair and my wife might leave me alone for the first time. That's, and right. That's, That's great. That's great. Well, maybe, uh, maybe he'll be willing to, to write you all a five-star review. Did you just like show him what the crawl space looked like from the door or did you uh, offer to go in there and get video after and pictures and show him what the finished product was like? 
So I offered him uh, pictures and video, but he spent about 27 years in the U.S. Army. So uh, he, okay. decided he, he decided he wanted to get some blow crawling in. So we crawled together uh, every, every square foot of that crawl space. And he loved every minute of it, to be honest with you. He could not believe the difference between the original space and the end product. Gave him a ton of confidence. In fact, he was considering selling his house, finding something smaller to, to uh, live out, you know, whatever... 30, 40 years that remained with his wife. And instead he did, he, because of the crawl space uh, state right now, he, his plan is to stay in the home. You know, and that's a good tip, Andrew, a lot of, uh, you know, I hate to say it, but, but the home improvement industry is not exactly the most trusted of industries out there. So if you as a homeowner are hiring someone like us to do work for you, we really encourage you to get in that crawl space, or if you can't, if you're physically unable to do so, then at least have the company that you hired show video and picture proof. The reason why I like video proof is I would make them say the date and the time of the video in the video, because again, they could show you a picture of another crawl space. I mean, let's face it, all the joys start to look the same after, after so many crawl spaces. So unless you're pretty familiar with your own crawl space, you may get duped by somebody showing you a picture of another crawl space. So that's that's great that you took the time to do that and invited uh, the homeowner to go in there with you because man, that, that's just absolutely fantastic. How long did this job take you all to complete start to finish? It took us six business days, Michael. Now you got your uh, April Air 1820, I assume, running in the crawl space. Is that right? You sure do. Very good. Any water management or was, uh, was the table okay? The water table okay? No, the water table seemed fine. The grading of his, of his lot was a little bit higher than the lots around him. I was not very concerned about it. I suspect we may end up going back and, and doing some type of uh, yard drainage for him. Most of his moisture in the crawl space was from hydrostatic pressure on the exterior of his home. Well, I really appreciate you taking the time to, to do this video, Andrew. Anything else about this job that you feel like uh, our viewers should, should know? No, no, not, not, not to highlight now, Michael. Uh, I, I would say that this type of home and and the homeowner himself, uh, we're encounter encountering a lot of the same people and homes throughout Pender County, throughout Nan New Hanover County, as far south as Carolina Beach and in central Wilmington. Uh, and we're excited to serve the community. Well, it's an interesting statement you just made. You know, I didn't realize that, you know, I thought maybe just East Tennessee competition did crawl spaces a certain way. But the, the more we branch out into North Carolina, even up into Delaware. It seems like all the contractors do the crawl spaces the same way. And a lot of our customers uh, almost have a have a sense of relief whenever we open a branch in those areas because we do things so much differently and on a different quality level. And that's partly why we started this YouTube channel was to help educate the homeowner on the right ways and the wrong ways. And you know, we're not a we're not above reproach. We make mistakes too. But the point is, is that if we make a mistake, we're going to get in there and fix it and uh, make sure it's done right. Or at least give the homeowner, like you did in this scenario, the option to address that more apparent fungal growth that you didn't see during your initial inspection because it was hidden behind the fiberglass. So, so kudos to you guys for doing that. So uh, yeah, thanks, Michael. Uh, yeah, you're very welcome. Just wanted to let everybody know this is Andrew Davis from Wilmington, North Carolina, him and his uh, business partner, Skyler are there to serve all of you out in North Carolina in that area. And my name is Michael Church with Crawl Space Ninja, and I hope you make it a happy and blessed day and we'll see you later.